and welcome to our project proposal presentation. My name is Sloan. I'm Connor. I'm Kaiyasa. And we are part of 7th Elementary School Team 2. One of the things that they do at Sutton is they have a pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade. Now, the pre-K and kindergarten both have assistant teachers in their classrooms at all times, but they do not have enough for the first grade teachers to have one. So all 18 of the first grade teachers share one assistant um, teacher. There is over 850 kids in this school, so having that many kids and them being so young, they need more help. So one of the things that we do there is we just work with them one-on-one -on -one and kind of like, um, help them wherever the teacher can and needs to be helped. So like I was saying, we just help them one-on-one -on -one most of the time. We do math and English and um, we like to read with them. Sometimes we help them take assessments. Really just whatever the teacher needs help with um, that she can't be hands-on. Especially with 25 students, that's very difficult. All right, I'm gonna be talking about our service project. So basically, as you can tell in the picture, our team has taken on a test, obtained a classroom for the school, and turned it into like a media classroom. And we're also gonna be covering up the windows so the light doesn't affect the screen. Here are more pictures. This is one of the rooms on one side, and then this is like the other side. So this is basically like an overview of what the whole classroom looks like and where we're gonna be painting. All right, now we're gonna be talking about our strategies, challenges, and goals. So basically, we want our team to deliver and have a positive attitude. We want to make sure that we're going at our certain times when we need to go so we can deliver and be there for the kids when they need help. Some of the challenges that we're facing right now is basically like getting more time because we're busy as, um, as students also in class because like some of us have classes to like 1 to 2 or like 9 to 11 so it's kind of hard for us to get in and actually get hours because we're also, we also have a busy schedule and by them closing at 2 we have to make sure we get our hours so we can also have a grade as well. Um, our goal is basically to have the room finished and painted so that the children can have a media room and we can just support their needs and they can have more time to study and like just free time also inside of the classroom. This is our timeline to get the project done. We are planning to get the paint as soon as possible. Um, we are still waiting on instruction on how to get the paint, so as soon as we get that, we will get it done. Then we are going to paint the walls and cover the windows on that skylight. And we're gonna paint the cabinets and we're going to present the project by the end. We plan on getting the project done by November 10th and we'll get the uh, project presented by November 17th. Okay. This is our budget. We are going to need three paint cans of Valspar paint, agreeable gray is the color. We're going to need painter's tape and the paint rollers and the paint brushes are being provided to us by day one leadership. And we will also need to get the window for the film and on the skylight and the paint trays potential lessons. Our community partner has already taught us many things. You have to be very patient and caring with children and you have to be a good leader because children do not know how to control their actions or emotions and they will say anything to you at any time. So you have to learn to be very patient. Our project will be very beneficial to these students. Uh, the media room has been needing uh, remodeling and we, will, we plan to get that done as best as possible. And that was our project proposal. Thank you for listening.